Okay, Zach, let's see what Lily and Keith have to say. <laughs> For a moment, I found my video buffered with the sudden stop of a sound. I'm Kaysen, Forrest Kaysen. Thomas, did you see Nick here? No. When I got here, he was already like this. What are you doing? Get out of the way! I'll do it! George, stay back. She's trying to speak. No! It couldn't be! Nick! Oh, please, no! You got us good this time, Zach. So, the last time, uh, the Sheriff we committed fucked manslaughter. Up, but... So, last time, oh, the Sheriff committed manslaughter. It, man. Um. That's well, yeah. Me neither. To his credit, I don't think it was in his intention. I think, yeah, I think it was an accident. Well, yeah, that's well, yeah. why it's called it's called 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 I've always, yeah, I've always okay. interpreted, I've always, I've always interpreted as like he, pan so... he, pa he panicked and he just really wanted to get Becky out of there bad, and he, and he just panicked and just well, yeah. did the first thing well, that came to his mind. Well, yeah, I mean, well, to Dwibs' his credit, yeah, that is the definition of manslaughter, or accidental well, yeah, murder. Right. In any, I don't, yeah, in, in any logical world, this sheriff should be going to prison right about now. I actually don't think we have uh, an equivalent to word. I think in my country we just call them accidents. To be fair, Dwibs, given the circumstances of this case, this might not be tried as manslaughter. Also remember, remember, York is the authority here at the moment. If he decides it's not like it's not at least the important stuff to do, that's what happens. Yeah. Oh that, wow, that the life is beautiful, Tune. Of course, this is fitting to have after that gruesome scene. It's because Lily really just just uh, uh, mentioned that the kids are with Kazen. They said so. they were going to visit Greenvale Forest. That Park makes today. it somehow even worse. They were going to <laughs> that dog of his. Kazen. All right. So. Oh. oh yeah, he's a good guy. He always brings us gifts from his road trips. The kids love him, so we let him take them out every once in a while. Parent of the year. Well, if they can trust the guy, I guess. Well, up until this point, he hasn't done anything, so. I mean. I'll go and look for them myself. And if they come home without running into me, could you let us know? Sure, of course. I'll contact the department. I mean, so far, the worst we can accuse of him is, having, is making a bad joke. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Innocent until proven guilty. So, where to next? Yeah, it's the same reason why I was also with York on the previous part, because technically what Olivia told us technically doesn't prove anything about Nick. It, it, all that proves is that Nick and Diane are intimate and with each other, but uh, like, and by intimate I mean like in terms of as friends, and it, it, doesn't, yeah. it doesn't necessarily prove anything, so. But yeah, let's, uh, yeah, there you go. This is episode 2, part 2. That's what we're doing right now. Not episode 3, episode 2, part 2. There's episode, there's prologue, then there's episode 1, then there's episode 2, part 1, then there's episode 2, part 2. And episode, and episode 2, Jova, is the only one that has two parts. The other ones are just episodes. Don't ask me how the hell this works. I don't mind you. You did the suspense after the murder, I think. Maybe that's the logic, yeah, but it's still... Uh, mind you, are we more than halfway done with this playthrough? Uh, yes, but that's most that's the thing, Jova. When you, if you just stick to the main plot, the game is not that long. Like it's mostly the the overall world and exploration and the side quests that really m m most of the playtime really. I don't know if it works for all like say GTA games or sandbox titles similar to that, but yeah, I checked. It seems to be consistent with a lot of more recent open world games where most of the bulk you get it from enjoying the side activities while instead the actual main plot when you really get down to it and separate from the rest is not a lot actually not much happens you know to its credit i feel like red dead redemption 2 did a good job of actually balancing having bulk to its main plot while giving you loads of side quests to have fun with someone who lives here in this town it's really depressing it is yeah uh, but someone has to bring this. Yeah, I'm, York also is a point. I know, but oh, Agent York. Sometimes I just think I'm not really cut out to be a cop. Not true, Emily. You have the potential to be a superb law enforcer. You can be emotional at times, but you also possess what's most important. I do. How possible? What do you mean? What do you think? The ability to spell Some possess justice. correctly. <laughs> I must admit, I I'm surprised to hear such a, how should I say this? Compliment. Such an obvious answer. I thought you'd say something else. Obvious or not, I joined the FBI in order to do what's right. 
And that's what's important. I understand, but still, you seem... Uh, I'm sorry. I, I need some time to think. Whatever do you want to think about? Justice. I want to think about... Justice. Oh, oh yeah, we need oh, oh, yeah, 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 together. Apolo we can be justice. justice. <laughs> well, I'll get you Apollo Justice for Christmas. You'll enjoy that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's leaves. I, and at that point, a pair of socks would be more preferable. Come on. Look for the twins yeah, I'll time. get you some Apollo Justice themed socks. At least with those, you can put it on your head and actually rob a bank to get them. Okay, to so there's a killer. <laughs> so you're gonna frame Apollo Justice for bank robbery. So yeah, just because. Sure, just, why not? I know, there, on, I know that there's a killer on the prowl, but me and Yurik are gonna do some side quests. Is there? Okay, cool. You want to check? Of out? course. Poor Emily. Oh, well, either way, it doesn't matter. I can see you won't be rushed. I'm gonna go ahead, okay? Okay. I have priorities. Have a graphic a murder just. <laughs> Don't take too long before you catch up, okay? Don't worry, Emily. The Lord of Darkness <laughs> will remain still until we oh get to him. So. Why oh, look! Oh, look, oh, look, no. look, look, look who we just oh. found! Oh, oh for no. God's sake! Oh, hold on. You turned into a multiple homicide. What kind of motives turn a criminal into a serial killer? Oh, uh, several, York. Yeah. Ritualistic? Copycat crime? Sex related, cannibalistic. Well, uh, e all of the above. Yeah, yeah, I was about to mention. <laughs> These interesting ideas don't always really explain the real motive. True. They're just words, phrases that the media uses to scare citizens. Is he trying to stall, not talking to you? Know who? Like, wow. I wasn't expecting this particular commentary from this game. Wait, you weren't expecting this kind of commentary from this well, game? More like, I wasn't expecting this game to actually drop the whole, you know, the media is influencing badly people kind of bomb. Most people simply. And for me, I honestly consider it a matter we, of time. Again, ahead of time, yes. Uh, this actually, I, okay, I would say that this stuff was actually relevant even in entertainment to this point. It True. just wasn't as outspoken as it is nowadays. Not, yeah, yeah, that's the thing, Jova. I remember with the amplification of the internet, of course, that also in, you know, in parallel got amplified as well. It's just that. I don't feel like it right now. Like, wow. It's aged like fine wine, hasn't it? York is even going to make a point later that uh, because because a lot of these people that York catches are insane by nature, just thinking logically won't get you far because you do, uh, because these killers are insane and therefore don't operate reasonably. In fact, if anything, it's a common psychological risk to actually try to do that because a, a lot of times it might actually turn a person potentially insane Basically. on the long run. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Kazin points Sigourney. <laughs> Four out of five. Four out of five. I know I have much here. I have been learning that four means death. Can we stop here? Hurry up. Look, my pot is getting Why do you take that pot everywhere with you if you're worried about it getting cold? Lewis, Lewis, if you're just not understanding the pot. She right, she right. Uh, sorry. I'll, I'll understand the pot more when I throw Dibs. it on the ground. Dibs. Obviously, the pot needs to relieve itself, so she takes it for a typical walk. Exactly. I was about to say I'll that, too. I'll relieve myself in the pot if we have to do that again. <laughs> Oh, we're so gonna Lewis, treat it like a PMI. chamber pot. Oh, uh, I was one. She's just doing this on purpose, isn't she? So you do have a pot to piss in, then? Exactly. Oh my god, maybe she's Barbarian. pissing in the pot. Wait, oh my god. <laughs> I got it. Maybe her toilet is wrecked, so she goes out into the wilderness to use it as a chamber pot, but won't admit it to anyone because she's just that embarrassed. You know, Dweebs, it says a lot to that the Romans were building aqueducts where you were still hunting gophers. She could just pee in her backyard in that case. Uh, Shiro, that's public urination. That's kind of against the, the law. Well, no, if it's her garden, yeah. it's private property. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. I can't believe I'm arguing this. You actually yeah, are allowed to. <laughs> you, actually, you actually are allowed to urinate on your own property, especially if you feel it helps the crops. I guess. It helps the crops. Uh, Shiro, it actually is a thing, yes. Um... Really? 
Well, well yeah, I know sure. one of well, those things. Well, helps. Sure, it's I know same. one of those things helps the crops. Ch chemistry is a bitch, Shiro. It's just like you use yeah. crap. It's just like you use crap as fertilizer, Shiro. Like uh, no, so that's what I was about to say. I know one of those things did. I didn't know the other did also. Well, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Urine definitely helps grow stuff too. Oh no, tr Shiro. That's that's the thing, Shiro. There's a lot of. Um, like for example, it's kind of like with, with eating. Like uh, there's a lot of nutritious things in life that we choose not to eat because we consider it disgusting or just not appetizing and stuff like that. Like say, but, uh, yeah, like we were spoken, we we were saying a couple of parts ago, like you know cicadas. Mm hmm. Oh no, bugs are quite good for you. Um, yeah, lots of protein. But anyway, <laughs> sorry. But anyway, yeah, this is mission four, and she keeps getting further and further away from her home. And uh, I'm going to try and do this with the, with, with, with the police car, and I'm going to fail, so you guys will be able to see what happens when we fail this mission. And ah, so that's why you're doing it with this car. Yes, and after I fail, I'm going to get York's car so we can do this way easy, because trust me, the York's car renders the, these missions a piece of cake. So... I w there's probably somebody in the internet who manages to do this without upgrading the police car. Oh, it is. Oh, it is perfectly possible. It's just that you know, like, um, it, it, more yeah. convenient know, as well. You probably have to know the map like the back of your hand, which I do uh, at this point because I play this game s way more than I should, most likely. <laughs> but uh, uh, gee, I wonder why. Can you imagine the poor voice actress having to be forced to say all these lines about pots getting cold in the booth? That's the thing, though. Oh, trust I mean, me, Joe. Uh, voice actors have a ton, the time of their lives voicing uh, comedic lines. Uh, no, no, I know yeah. that. It's just that, you know, some of these lines can be repetitive a bit. Well, but there's a thing, too. These lines are, are used. She only recorded each of these lines once, and the game just no, reuses no, no, I, them. I know that. I know that. But there are still, like, four or five at Cycle Through. And so most of these seem to have, uh, they ideally, also the same structure. And that's not even counting, you know, not uh, the well, outtakes. Uh, you know. well, ac well, according to Jeff Kramer, uh, even though he wasn't necessarily the voice director per se, at, at least credited as such, uh, according to Jeff Kramer, uh, Swery did give some guidances to the actors himself. Um, so my guess is Swery told him, told her, uh, okay, basically you're a crazy lady and you just keep branzling on about this pot, you know, just try to act crazy. And she just went with it, basically. <laughs> Fun fact, Jeff Kramer and Swery actually hang out together. I am not surprised. So, does Jeff Kramer star in any of other Swery's games? No, Only sadly the no. Sequel. Remember, Jova, this game was actually his last role until the sequel. What was he in before this? Uh, he, remember, Jova, I mentioned that uh, he... He worked on the educational three. games and stuff like that. He was Omega in, one, in a couple of the Sonic games. Uh. Was he? Yep. Oh, let right, me, he was. Let me check specifically which one. I think it's what? Sonic Heroes. During, during, that, was, during that period where they were, they were circling through Omega Voice Actors it for each it game. Was actually, it was actually um, a recurring for Sega. He also worked for stuff like Virtua Tennis, for example. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me. It's exactly what you think. Oh, no. Thanks to your slow driving, my pot got cold <gasps> you're just useless <laughs> you okay. thanks lady i give up zach <laughs> same to ask what's in the pot too damn it <laughs> oh you didn't, you, you, didn't you, even get a, you didn't even get a jingle for failing the mission how sad actually you did get a jingle it's just very quiet yep all right, so no lunch this time. No oh, lunch. Well. No lunch this time. Oh, actually, there is a lunch. Actually, never mind. Lunch is for only winners. Get the chicken dinner, York. Hey, Thomas. But oh yeah, I'm sure this later, Ben. Agent York, do you want lunch? No. I wish I could help more, but I think lunch is a good place to start. Yeah. Uh, yes, quite please. Not. Good. I'll get something ready. Oh, I guess so. Oh wait. So I guess this is the lunch room, and the computer room is different. It's it, 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 identical. It, Hold on. Yeah, basically they're not in the best of moods right now. So I can no, see no, that. No. Uh, mm. You know, the 
This doesn't taste good today. Um. That's not true. Guys, Thomas made us a fine lunch as always. Oh, he's trying. I agree. Aww. Yeah. Moping, around. Moping about it doesn't solve anything. I agree with Agent Morgan. Being so stressed out about our progress will only lead to mistakes. We should enjoy lunch. That's the very least we should do. As they say, yeah. the uh, early bird catches the worm. Oh my god, George, are you okay? <laughs> She's she's trying. Uh, to, like, I, 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 don't, I don't think that fits here, George. I don't know. Mean, laugh and grow fat. <laughs> I could not even heard of all that one. <laughs> no, I well, at least it. York. Well, at least York managed to lighten the mood. Yes, well, Without being awkward. <laughs> oh. Let's get back to it. <laughs> Poor Georgie. <laughs> wow, George, I found his hat. That's a first. Okay, back to the investigation. We need to... S uh, yeah, yeah but let's, we've already read that plenty of times. Ooh, oh, there, there you go. go. Uh, there, there you go. The car is ready. Add new parts to the car to improve its performance, which we already did. So, whatever. Wait, so can you get the car back before adding the parts? No, you no, can't. No, remember, you need to that's do just all the, the side quest of a general. That's just the game get... being weird, Jova. Don't bother. <laughs> I was about to say, what kind of game gives a prompt for something that you clearly can't do? Deadly premonition, Jova. Deadly premonition. You know what? <laughs> I shouldn't might be, be surprised. Might be a Japanese thing, Jova. The Yu-Gi-Oh! card game has a couple of these moments, too. Hardly worth starting the engine for, really. The general did a good job, though, didn't he? Um... All right, so okay. let's take it for a spin, shall we? I'm gonna take sure. you for a ride. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna take you for and like a I ride. Said, and like I said, York's car has its own theme, Racing Idiot, which we already heard in the Sinner Sandwich scene. Yay, wow, that, that is really fast. Let's see how fast this is. So York was driving at this speed under the rain with low visibility and doing all that shit at the beginning. Is it any surprise that he crashed? <laughs> That's a thing, Joe. Yeah. Remember, the reason he crashed was because of the raincoat killer, not because well, of what he was doing. That's the thing. You know, funnily enough, he swerved to avoid the raincoat killer, from what I recall. So. If he had ran into the Rainco Killer and killed him, Becky might still be alive, I guess. Okay, so. Uh, Sigourney's still there, so. Alright, Sigourney! I've come to accept your challenge again, and this time I've come with a sweet, pimped out ride! Oh, but yeah, Jova, yeah, uh, Jeff Craven was also like seeing Shining Force X, uh, Knight's Journey into Dreams as an owl, apparently. Oh, so, yeah, he was yeah, owl. Uh, owl. A virtual nice. quest, Tomorrow. and he was Superman in that Xbox exclusive yeah. Superman game. Hit this role is the one that he's most known for. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. There was an Xbox exclusive Superman game? Called Superman the Man of Steel. We've talked a bit about it. Never heard of that one. It was okay. Also it was also it's farming. an Xbox exclusive game that's mainly styled after the comics. Neat. Oh. And it came out the same time there as you Superman go. Shadow of Apocalypse. There you go, Shiroi. To spare your ears, I cut to oh, I was already arriving. I hope you're uh, 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 Don't worry, the show. It is appreciated. My, my ears appreciate the uh, gesture. Don't say things out loud. You don't. Do you? Sorry. I was just wondering. <laughs> Fuck! I'll the for you. There you go. See, Dweb's exactly, uh, the, she wants the pot to get a breath of fresh, uh, gentle air. See? But you were worried about it getting cold all the time, and all of a sudden you wanted to get fresh air. She wanted to get fresh air, but stay warm as hell. It's simple as that. She has a pet raccoon in there. Oh, oh shit. Hold on. Room, don't we? The same goes for the pot. I'd feel bad for leaving the pot locked up in the house all day. Aww. You're clutching up in the air like, give me strength. <laughs> good job, I'm not the one playing this game. I just left it there. You hear? The best. Oh, thank God it's not Red Dead Redemption. You probably would have shot her then. <laughs> I mean, we got George's car schematics, so well, more like color palette. 
Well, then the role of Darwin would have been in effect. She's she's too she's too weak for constantly leaving the pot around, even though she wants it to stay warm. All right. She complains at us for hanging around too much and wasting her time, even though she could easily walk off. All right. So that was Sigourney for now. So let's and get. She doesn't seem to contribute to society in any meaningful. Well, I, I, I just think I think she's retired by this point. Yeah, I think she is retired. She has a pension. She's a very elderly lady. She, I know, uh, she was a teacher. Donate a bit to charity, maybe a charity that will help. Well, that will help poor orphaned pots. I don't think she is exactly loaded uh, with money. Do I... <laughs> not only just she doesn't even have to give not... loads, just a little bit every so often. Well, she. I'm guessing she still pays taxes. I mean, hopefully. Are you, how do you know that? Well, well, because... the fact that she hasn't been evicted. Also, dreams. Also, dreams. Uh, you know, York will being an FBI agent and all. York will probably know if someone is not paying taxes around the area. Isn't that isn't that the job for the um, our IRS? Remember, Dwebs, the money that she spends with uh, she pays with uh, chooses to pay taxes goes into York's money that he gets every time he shaves. So. <laughs> <laughs> so what? You're saying that Sigourney is the one paying him all this money? Well, you, wait, well, wait. her, her, and everybody in your in your country, it seems, Jova. Wait so a wait a minute, wait a minute. Come to think of it, what if Sigourney is secretly an undercover FBI agent herself, and she's actually been tracking this case and knows a lot more than she's leading on, but she's subtly leading York to the clues to solve this case with the pot. Hmm. Well, all right. Back to the main story, because as you can probably guess, we're starting to run out of side quests. So they get so We're so driving so, on the grass. Yeah, I decided to just. Uh, There's no time to wait. Teleport. Yes, it's uh, teleportation. Yeah. Hey, Emily. Agent York, I found Isaac and Isaiah. They're over there. Let's go. Okay. All right. All then. right. Hello again, Isaac and Isaiah. Here you're teaching Willie to do tricks. What's your secret? It's easy. Really simple. If he does it right, we give him a treat. A if he does it wrong, right. well... You're very clever. So, tell me, you two. Could you perhaps tell me another special secret of Becky? No, we can't. It won't be a secret if we do I mean... Yeah, I guess so. I'm not telling. We promised Becky. Well, that's a problem. Because I also made a promise to Becky. I promised to catch the bad man. But I can't keep my promise if I don't know what the secret is. Can you speak up? I can't hear you over the music. Good use of psychology, Joe. Um, sorry, um, York. Mm hmm. Twin speak. She told us to give Diane a box. It wasn't that heavy. What's in the box? And gave it to Diane. Is that all Becky gave you? Um, just when we were leaving to take the box to Diane, Becky called us back. She handed us something. It was small and round. She told us to keep it safe in our pocket and give it to Diane. Mm-hmm. Okay. A ball? And then you met Carol on your way? Yep, I took the round thing out of my pocket, and we looked at it. And then she talked to us. We told her that we were on an errand for Becky. She said she'd do it for us. Oh, now, did she now? She asked us, not her. We promised Becky to do it ourselves. Okay, then. Also the frame rate. So Becky did entrust the locket to them. Hmm. And now Carol has it. Right, Kason? Huh? Dun, dun, dun. You were in the room. That Kason's not even listening. <laughs> Diane. I saw you with Diane in the art gallery that day. Well, yeah, I, 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 I was there in the room, but, but I was only chatting with Diane. Oh, then Carol burst in, all angry looking. While Carol and Diane had their talk, oh, I, I just sat there like a frog. Hmm. Yeah, so Carol took the locket from Diane, 
But that has nothing to do with me, right? Oh. So. But from this instant, you are now a key witness in this case. True. I'm afraid you can't leave town until you hear from me. What? Can you do that? Yes, he can. He, he, he can actually. Alice in Wonderland. Which makes you Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> huh? I was gonna see more Beetle Dumb. Well, to be fair, Tio, he needs to have a twin for that to work. I think yeah. I'm able to keep my promise with Becky, thanks to you two. How is Becky? Is she getting better? She'll come uh... school, won't she? She'll come and play with us again. Oh boy! No yeah. worry, no worry, Joe, but York knows what to say. That's right. Um, Becky is almost totally better now. But I don't think she'll be able to come and see you. I was told by Becky to keep this a secret. But she's actually a goddess of the forest. Just or, or rather, yeah, Emily, sorry, yeah. I forgot that she's. But yeah. <laughs> York cool. just shrugged and walked Becky off. <laughs> Wow, that's Remember, they, they think Anna became a goddess, so they're using that excuse on them. So I guess that these, okay, okay. so I guess these twins will need to have their own uh, revelation yeah. moment, uh, kind of like Regina does in Justice for All, when she yeah, learns that people do not turn into too. stars. Yep. Well, at least oh, we know. What was that? What was that sound in the background? It sounded like a bird. Okay. Most likely. All right, let's recap. What to do? First, Diane, the owner of the art gallery. She was out drinking with Nick Cormack in a bar on the night Anna died. Nick confirmed this, and so she had an alibi. All right. But then we have what Nick's wife, Olivia, told us. According to Olivia, Nick and Diane not only went to the bar, but also went somewhere else that night. Hmm. Do you remember where that was, Zach? <coughs> So which is it? Art gallery. Yeah. Art gallery, exactly. The art gallery. Before entering the gallery, Diane looked back towards Olivia. Yeah, it's actually she stared at her. Olivia in the dark. Hmm. Nick's behavior has also become more suspicious by the day. It'll be too easy for Nick to be the bad guy. But we have no conclusive evidence of that at the moment. Yeah, we have, yeah. True, we don't. The only thing we can say for sure is that Nick's whereabouts are unknown at the time of Becky's murder. He has no alibi for the crime. But that fact alone means nothing. So who was it that called Thomas to report trouble at Becky's place? Uh. Yeah, Quint. Mm -hmm. It was Quint, Becky's boyfriend. He went to her house. If she ever even considered him that. Well, a simplification of Java. I'm embarrassed and mortified. I'll say this, yeah, poor Quint, Quint, man. Yeah, Quint is the one that basically got everything destroyed for him. Yeah, <laughs> Becky pretty much draped him over the coals, and now she's dead, so the one he was infatuated with is gone. From the similarities, one can deduce that Anna's killer killed Becky. Yeah, it's a very, a fairly reasonable assumption. Yes. One other important piece of evidence. God, it would suck if there were a copycat killer. I do indeed. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. But he was gonna say the key. To be fair, no, the key was used. No, no. The, the, the question was, what well, did we find in her safe? Too. Yeah, you're right. She had apparently written a letter to her sister Diane. It revealed that Becky took a locket from Anna's body at the crime scene. She also admitted to borrowing a pair of Diane's stiletto heel shoes. So, Miss Stiletto Heels. Okay, that's one uh, key person identified at least. At the end of the letter, it said that she handed the locket and stiletto heel shoes to someone. Do you remember who, Zach? I do indeed. We just talked to them. <laughs> Aha! That's right, Zach. 
And from what Isaac and Isaiah told us, Carol offered to take the items to Diane, but the twins refused. They gave them to Diane themselves as they had promised. So Carol went to go and take it. She ended up storming into the gallery to take it from Diane. That, yeah, that's probably why they were arguing when we met them. From Diane, Casey just happened to be there. Is Casey involved in this, or was he just there by coincidence? Mm. I wonder what's so special about the locket, too. Why did Carol want it so badly? So many questions, so little answers. Yep. Come to think of it, Quint, the first witness, has no alibi for Becky's death. Uh oh. We checked the phone records, and his call definitely came from her house. Is it possible he attacked Becky and then called us? Mm, it is possible, but I'm not entirely uh, sure it's worth pursuing. That's the equivalent of self-reporting in Among Us. <laughs> Okay, so who's the most suspicious right now? So, to me, it's, it's Diane. Yeah, I'm gonna agree on Diane. I mean, Quint seems way too innocent, and with Nick, like tell. I said... I mean, it makes sense. Quint, so far from what we've seen, has no reason to want to murder either. And like I said, it, it would be way too easy for it to be Nick. So, you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? That's right. There's just too many things that we don't know. First, we need more intel about the relationship between Nick and Diane. How? Nick hmm. and Diane meet every night in the bar. Let's use that. We go in disguise George, and watch what they do? The no. We'll what just take mean? out uh, both places. So we're gonna stake them out doing pet. We're gonna make sure that we? we're gonna make sure they don't go anywhere that they don't say they go to Jova. Just to make sure, you know. <laughs> so, like I said, we're staking them out doing patty cake. Okay. Well, if you want to put it like that, sure. Yeah, Thomas, you keep in, uh, watching them inside the bar. Yes. It's your bar after all, right? Well, Carol's, but you know what I mean. I'll be waiting in the parking lot of the bar. Once Nick and Diane are together. I will follow them wherever they go. What time do they usually show up, Tom? And the best thing is that we'll have an unmarked vehicle time, to follow them in. Between 22 and 2300. Then at that time we do it, boys and girls. <laughs> Alright, it's a plan. Oh yeah. Alright, and that was Lost Child. Okay. Plot is certainly beginning to heat up. All right, everybody. In the next part, um, we'll uh, stick out both Nick and Diane and see exactly what it, uh, what is going on here. So tune in for that. Going to be in yeah. the right, thing. See ya. See ya. See ya.